my buddies that I, you know, got older with uh, do this same thing that I do, you know, sing, make up songs and shit. A lot of us made up drinking songs when we were young, then we met some girl we loved and made a bunch of songs about her, and then, well, I sort of forked in the road with a lot of my friends is after having kids, me and my wife just wanted to keep the hours we were keeping, so we didn't do that. And then my friends did, and God, I just one by one, they all got the fucking song about the goddamn kid. <laughs> I was never out of it. I'm not a very sentimental guy, I guess. I don't know. But I told myself, I told my wife, you know, one of the, one of the reasons why I don't want to have kids is so I don't fucking wear a fanny pack and start singing about them. <laughs> so I told myself I wasn't going to do, do that. I wasn't going to make up any songs about kids, and then uh, just recently in the uh, newspaper on the news in my neighborhood of East Nashville, which is the right side of town, I guess they're called, or the We'll Steal Your Hearts and Your Lawnmower side of town in Nashville, a lot of, all of us live over there, musicians, and it's a good time over there. If you do come to town, by the way, and you don't want to see the CMT shit, come to our place, go to the three pro bar, make up one of them. a good time I got. Anyway, my point was, I'm sure I had one, uh, was that uh, one afternoon uh, on the news there was a, a, a thing about some kids from my neighborhood and it touched me, inspired me, I made up this song about a kid, a uh, pretty thing I call Precious Little Miracles. <laughs> Work a bunch of skits up and put 